go ahead and start this off with a voxel and I select that voxel and I go ahead and smooth this down two smooths so I get a little bitty one I'm going to take a standard voxel bring this up and I'm going to take this copy it paste it and basically I'm going to go all the way around this voxel and we're going to go back and repaste in the corners so I have this panel looking thing and if I come in here and actually paint the center you'll see I I have a little shape on the inside and um, basically what I can do with this is I can take a um, take something like a bookshelf just made out of regular voxels and let me change my color here I'm just going to like rough in a like a bookshelf and it doesn't have to look like this it can look pretty much however you want to make it and we can come in something like that and let's go ahead and fill in the back too actually let's leave the back because we'll come back to it here in a little bit and let me see that's three voxels I probably made that a little bit too big let's bring it down a little bit and then I'll select the whole thing and I'll just stack it up like four high here something like that now once I got to this point I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna grab this panel copy it paste it Two, two, paste. Now come over to this side and do the same thing. Get over here. If I can get my stuff lined up. There we go. One, two. One, two. One, two. But I guess my, my side piece is done. And then I'm going to come to the top. I'm going to rotate this over. Two. Just kind of a rinse and repeat on uh, just replacing the voxels until we actually have it all filled in like this. And then we're going to rotate vertically and I'm going to fill in the back side of it.
like this. So now we actually have kind of a shelled in bookshelf here. And you can kind of come in here and paint it however you want. I mean, we can come in and um, literally paint the whole entire thing. Now, if you notice, the bottom side of this is it's offset. It, it literally has a gap down here. So I'm going to take pretty much the bottom section here. I'll select that. And let's bring this down and copy it. I'm going to paste it and let's bring it up into the air so we can actually get a hold of it. Actually can see it. You take your line tool, expand it out pretty big here just so you can actually cover the whole entire shape of it. And we're going to double click. Double click, double click, double click, double click. And just keep double clicking and you'll expand that bottom section down so that it actually fits flat when you go to put it on the surface and so now I can take that copy copy it back and then we're gonna paste it right back into place like this and we're gonna paste it in so now we have that bottom section is just a little bit bigger and when I go to take it and actually put it on the ground itself um, you won't have that distortion in it so I'm going to select the whole thing, come in here, and let's pick a wood texture, something like, uh, let's go with, let's go with stripe wood, and something like vertical, and you could probably come in here for each individual side and do this, let's do that, let's grab this one side here, go vertical, striped, and we'll paint that. And let's go to the other side. We'll paint that. <clears throat> I think for the back, I'm going to go with a horizontal. So let's go with this. We'll paint that. And for the top, we'll do the same thing with the horizontal. And the same thing for the bottom. Let's do that with the uh, cross beams as well. Let's grab all of these, pull it out. So now I have like a standard little wooden. Now you could probably come in here and make it even a little bit more fancy. And uh, just by kind of playing around with a some microvoxeling. So I can probably take this micro voxel, copy it. Actually, let's take that same micro voxel and let's shrink it down a little bit more. Let's go with a let's go down with a smaller something. Yeah, I think that'll do it. Grab this. Now I'm going to come around the outside of this, but I'm not going to put it on right on top of the other one. I'm going to actually go right to the outside of it. Something like that. Up one and out one. I'm going to start at the back corner. And work my way around it. Repaste in on the corners as needed. If I can get my alignments to stay straight. I think I went a little bit too far out. You can do like this little like crown molding type deal. And you can probably fill in this top uh, pretty much as needed. Um, but 
that's one way to, to kind of play around with this uh, this actual shape and you can kind of tinker with it <clears throat> the bigger the voxel you actually play with uh, um, the stranger um, the more you can actually kind of play with it so there you go there's a bookstore bookshelf <laughs>